Hello, and welcome to the first in a series of tutorials on using ants. For the very first video, we'll cover some basic ideas about ants and what you need to do to download and run the software. So what is ants? Ants is a three-dimensional software environment for viewing and interacting with complex datasets. Spatialized visual objects with variable shape, color, size, and texture enable the user to identify key patterns in their data. The visual environment of ANTS enables a more efficient mechanism for identifying visual patterns and relationships, and the software is capable of combining stored data with live sources for time-sensitive situations. You can think of ANTS as spreadsheets meets cyberspace, an immersive, multi-dimensional, spatially-based environment for real-time analysis and decision-making. ANTS is your tool for finding the needle in the haystack. What can ANTS do, and how do people use it? Here's an example. Imagine a table representing academic test scores from students located at different schools distributed across a map. Data fields are mapped to object attribute parameters such as geometry, transparency, velocity, and position. At each location, a pin with tori would represent details about the student's demographics and scores over a period of time. We use ANTS to close the cognitive loop between you, the user, and those powerful logic engines known as computers. What do you need to run ANTS? Operating system and hardware requirements. ANTS is an open source project that is free to the world for any purpose. Any non-evil purpose, that is. Source code and compiled applications are provided for all major desktop platforms, Microsoft Windows, Linux, and Mac OS X. Anyone with a computer built in the last 10 years should be able to at least open the ANTS application and view simple datasets. But to run more complex visualizations, consider the following. Practical dataset size is dependent on the combination of visual parameters chosen and system hardware. ANTS is mostly GPU bound, followed by CPU and input output speed. The load balance is affected by parameters such as data streaming, texture mapping, and geometric complexity. We'll be exploring examples that use these attributes in later tutorials, but for now you should understand that ANTS performance is primarily tied to the speed of your graphics card. While you could get by with only a keyboard, a standard three-button mouse is recommended to make navigation, operation, and selection of objects easier in ANTS. A few technical details about ANTS. ANTS is coded in C and reads attribute data from CSV files. In cases where textures, object tags with text, or channel data are being used, ANTS is referencing several CSV files. Textures for mapping to the surface of an object can be read from standard image file formats, such as JPEG or PNG. Significant updates are planned for the next major release of ANTS. These will allow for the handling of multiple types of real-time inputs and outputs, such as video feeds and fast Fourier transforms. Software developers will find all the source code files in the unzipped ANTS directory. Visit the ANTS SourceForge page to get involved with the ANTS project. We'd love to hear your ideas and feedback. Thank you.